Lucha Cobb right here. And today, we're going to show you how to install your Tab 2 three quarter inch drive torque converter kit for your buggy. So let's not waste any more time, shall we? Let's get on with it! Now what we have here is our torque converter adapter plate. And we're going to install this on our new 212 engine that we've just broke in. So we'll take our plate and we'll take a single bolt that we've already started well, with a dab of Loctite. You want to Loctite all your bolts because they'll vibrate apart if you don't. So we'll take our plate and we'll line it up to our engine over here and we'll start the bolt. Make sure you line it up to where you want it and start the bolt finger tight. Once you get all your bolts in and tight, you can go on to putting your clutch in. Now this takes a little lining up to do. This particular model needed some washers to space the clutch out. So first you put on your collar and then you put on the necessary amount of washers to line up your pulleys. This one needed two. Here's your clutch unit. You can take the cover off and set it to the side for now because you're going to be doing the back side first. The back side has a keyway to it. You got to line up the keyway and put it to the back. Now, you must take your belt after this and line it up. The belt has two sides, a flat side and a sharp side. The flat side has to go up against the pulley, people. Otherwise, there could be a lot of damage. So, you slide it on to your torque converter and you slide it over this little brass collar. That's going to hold it in place for now. Now you can take the rest of your clutch assembly and mount it onto the shaft. It goes just like that with the cover on the end. Then we take the necessary bolt Install that and tighten it up to proper torque specs. This is very important. Do not skip this step. Now we're ready to start it up and see what happens. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, if you remember in our last one, you had to turn on the, the kill switch, turn on the fuel, and turn on the choke. Now I think we're ready. Let's give it a try. It's a little cold here. This is Southern California, by the way. There we go. And as you can see, it all functions properly. This is how it should work, people. And there you have successfully installed your clutch and torque converter assembly on your 212 Predator engine. Is this great or what? I love this thing. Join us next time as we put this beast into our buggy and go down the street. Thank you for watching Dorito and the Lucha Cabra. Don't forget to comment and smash that like and subscribe button. And as always, rock on!